What's up, Butterfly Gang? Welcome to another Butterfly Message. If you don't know by now, I'm Aji, and this is Sacred Libra, where we talk all things Libra. Make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel, and make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if this reading resonates with you. Okay, Libra? How are you doing? Almost the end of the week. Almost the end. Let's get into this. Let's get into this. I'm anxious to get into the reading. I don't have any downloads. Oh, yeah. I was outside levitating. <laughs> and I seen um, these, I seen these eagles. And you know I've been having my thing. I got to thank for these eagles around me. Okay. For eagles, period. So when I see them, it's just like I'm in awe. It's um, It will be like. Saying like an elephant, like, you know, you're amazed by the beauty of nature, of something in this natural element. So I'm just amazed with them, what they do naturally. Just wa I can like watch them for like hours. So long story short, I see this eagle and it looks like it's, it's coming closer. And I, I want an eagle to land, not close by me so I get scared because I'm scary too. But land like... In a safe distance, spirit know what I want, okay? Spirit know what I mean when I say, like, you know, land over there, though. Not right here. Um, But I seen them, and as it kept coming closer, I started seeing more. So, long story short, I seen, like, five eagles, and they were flying really, really low, and then they would go really, really high. And then the clouds were shaped like a portal. So, um... I'm going to unpack that energy probably this weekend, um, the energies that I've been feeling. A lot of cleaning. Pisces ain't play, y'all. When I tell you Pisces season did not come to play, you going to get rid of that shit you've been holding on to, okay? You're going to come face to face with ways you procrastinate. You're going to come face to face with yourself, and it's either you're going to accept it, you're going to act like you're, you're, you're going to act like you don't see it, or you're going to do something about it. That's what that is, okay? It's been a lot of self-reflection. And the key answer has been for me is what do I truly want? And am I okay with stepping back from something, realizing, hmm, I don't like this? You know, do we feel obligated to, you know... If you get, like, it's almost like tasting food. Are you going to eat a meal? Are you going to stay there and eat that meal when it's fucking disgusting? Like, I don't know. I'm going to unpack it this weekend. Let's get into this butterfly message, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm rambling. I'm rambling. What messages do we have? For Libra, I'm feeling like going into my message cards, my, my white message cards. Face me, I see right through you. Okay, King of Swords. This is some type of Aquarius energy. Um, There could be an Aquarius that you know or you. This could be you. <laughs> you could be going through a lot right now. Um, You got somebody, um, the one everybody wants to be. Got a lot of things happening. Somebody changed their perception on life. Somebody's also reminiscing. You still got these haters here. These same people, these haters are still coming up to the door when the door is closed. Somebody's not getting it, okay? Um, somebody's not getting it at all. Uh, there's some good conversation that you're having with a person. Um, this could be a good conversation with an ex, with an old friend, somebody else. Spirit guys is working. Okay, Cupid's at play. You got lurking, stalking, and watching at the bottom of the deck. And I got your mind way before I had your body. <laughs> Libra, little Libra, are you in your bag? Like... This is you telling somebody, somebody is watching you behind the scenes and you're like, oh, I know. I was just um, watching something, a podcast, one of my um, girly podcasts. I'm a podcast girl. Um, it's a podcast coming soon. So, yes. 
where well, Aji just gonna talk, okay? But um, they were talking about how do you know you're somebody's favorite and do you think you're somebody's favorite? I know right now you grinning like, yeah, yeah, I'm that. And not even just in a sexual way, just only sexual way. Let me not even, let me not play with y'all out here. Let me not play with us. But not in a, not, not even just in a sexual way. It's in more of an energy. It's like the atmosphere that you bring into a situation. You know for sure. Somebody knows for sure. You can search high and low, but baby, before you find somebody who got an aura like yours, you're going to be searching like for a while. It's like you're not going to run into this. Like this is rare. It's something that you have that's rare and you know that. Um, so you know somebody's watching. You know somebody didn't forget. You know it's no way in hell that a person could forget you. Even if they try, or you know that you're a memorable person, or you know that you had a, a um, big effect on somebody. What other messages do we have for Libra? You know you had a big impact. You got to chill out. You got to chill out. Chill out. What you yelling for? Lay back, it's all been done before. I am money. Somebody chill out, it's, it's working. Somebody needs to chill out, like li literally. Chill out, what you, yelling, what you yelling for? Lay back, it's all been done. Lay back, li literally, lay back. Um, somebody needs to chill out and let, and let what's yours attract to you. <clears throat> somebody's staying positive around a group that they don't necessarily like or want to be around you gotta get out the house and have some fun i've been feeling that and there's something that you didn't see at the bottom of the deck you have divine timing and then at the top it's i trust you divine timing something is working out and divine timing, okay? And definitely divine timing. I do want to get some more messages out here. It's just going to be one of the message, messages, uh, Butterfly Gang. Bear with me. I've been feeling like, yeah, somebody is definitely not your folks, not your bros. Like, it's like, it's like an alarm going off. Like, these are not your people. 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 I don't know who needs to hear that. These are not your people. Okay? Yeah, it's a hard pill to swallow, but these are not your people. Let me get two more because I want to get into this reading. Um, somebody's being very petty. Petty energy. Petty. See, these white cards, <laughs> these white cards now, you want a karmic message, you're going to get one. And somebody's snapping pictures, but you know that. You know somebody's watching. Somebody could be watching your pictures. Somebody's snapping pictures. And at the bottom of the deck, you have, actually, you have, <laughs> I want to get away, just you and me. But something is drama. What's drama? Somebody wants to have some type of alone time with someone. There's a lot of flirty energy. There's some type of facts to the story. Some type of factual information. Let's get right into this message. Oh, this is... <laughs> Let's get right into this message. Okay. <clears throat> Tell me more about Face Me. I see right through you. Oh, uh, yeah. Whose energy? This is the, um, definitely. That card, it never, this never, um, 
fails to amaze me. My message cards, my butterfly cards, they are inspired by the tarot deck. And Face Me, I See Right Through You, is inspired by the King of Swords. And the clarification for that is the King of Swords. I feel like somebody's about to come up to you. Definitely emphasis if you were dealing with an Aquarius. <laughs> like, and it could be that. Like, somebody could know that they have this impact on you. And they could be watching because they feel like that this person's lying. Like, I know the truth. I know the impact that I had on this person. Remember... This is the King of Swords in his position of you face me. I already know what's truth. Now you look back at me and see if you can look me in my face. It's almost like a mirror. Some of you guys could be looking your yourselves in the mirror. And I did talk about like looking yourself in that in the mirror, facing yourself, facing the truth. Somebody needs to face a person. Okay. Um there was a painful ending that happened there was a painful ending that happened for some of you guys oh mg i'm so tired of this karmic relationship but they happen it's natural it's as natural as a flower blooming okay um somebody went through there was a painful ending person spent some time in solitude it's been a long time now you have this movement you have this picking up movement somebody wants to come back and tell you something maybe they're expecting you to tell them something um yeah you got this big aquarian energy big emphasis on the aquarius also somebody is really trying to be patient and wait but they can't help with this truth that they have let me see what else do we have on this yeah somebody feels like that they're holding some type of truth in their hand about you is the truth is that somebody doesn't want to be in this painful ending anymore somebody wants to turn their their pivot into happiness Maybe somebody was creating karmic situations because they weren't ready for this ten of cups they didn't view life as the Ten of Cups. They didn't have this inside of them. So their outside world reflected of what they had inside of them. And they had false, false foundations. That's what they know on love. False foundations. Somebody just expected you to be false. Somebody expected it to break. Or this could be you. You expected something to break. Some of you guys went into your relationships expecting towers. Because towers is all you know. Sorry to get a little too deep. Okay, but towers is a little bit towers is all you know for some for some of you guys for some of you guys you were preparing for the blow you knew that something was going to end painfully and it did end painfully but somebody is ready to take this make this pivot point in their life and turn their attention to happiness and to love and what really fulfills them and that has something to do with you. Or if this is you, that has something to do with them. <clears throat> For some of you guys, this could be a parent. Not a parent, but this could be like, um, uh, 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 um, like your child's parent, child's mom, child's dad. Somebody is really like looking at themselves, facing themselves and was like, well, you know, I didn't give my all. Was I really... You know, did I really give something? It's like the, the true, the truth of some type of second chance. And I know somebody, I just read the comments and somebody was like, ain't no more second chances. Well, I'm sorry. I don't know. This, this probably ain't your energy. Tell me more about got a lot on my shoulders. Somebody's stuck with this eight of swords. Somebody has so much. It's the pressure. Um, this is feeling so much like divine masculine. 
this is almost feeling like a divine masculine reading. I like the pressure of the work, the pressure of building, um, the pressure of ha having to do something by yourself, the pressure of abandonment. This is abandonment issue. Okay. Um, the pressure of some type of abandonment, feeling like you have to do something by yourself has, um, unconsciously made you believe that you're in this, you're in this world by yourself. Okay. Um, and this is this, look at this, this is this towering moment. This is this false foundation of love. So for some of you guys, the false foundation that you have of love is this abandonment issue that you have been living with. For some of you guys, you feel like you have to do it all by yourself. It's going to be hard. It's going to be excruciating. You're just, like I said, somebody is getting ready for some type of blow. Like that's how you get into your, um, you don't, some of you guys don't know this, but this is something that you do unconsciously. unconsciously the uh, the abandonment issue and I'm really like going like like the lights is flashing on abandonment issues and if you're dealing with it I just want to say you know you're not alone you're definitely not alone in the abandonment um, issues if you if you dealt with abandonment issues if you felt like you had to carry some type of load on your own for some of you guys just even had just even getting into the ten of wands energy which is got a lot on my shoulders the butterfly card um you have to believe that you can't ask for help and but in believing that you can't have to ask for help you have to believe that there's no one out there that's going to help me or it's going to be a burden if i ask for help and even to unpack that, you have to have felt like a burden when you felt when when you asked for help. Somebody had to show that to you, or in a in a time of need when you really needed help, there was no one there. So those are it's like it's like layers to some type of issue. Like once you get down, once you get into your shadow work, once you start doing your self work, you can actually take off those layers and see the pinpoint of what it is because. Some of you guys told yourself so many stories about one moment and it's followed you, it's followed you for a long time. That's life as well. We're always learning and, unlearn and unlearning things. But I feel like somebody's having to do something by themselves, unwillingness to be vulnerable, unwillingness to say, I can't do this anymore, I need help, I'm tired has unconsciously messed with their intimate relationships. Tell me more about the one everybody wants to be. The one everybody wants to be stealing? What's the one everybody wants to be? Oh, somebody is stealing from the one everybody wants to be? You got the 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 king of wands here as this visionary and this person that's able to have anyone. I feel like for some of you guys, there is going to be somebody famous. And I just smiled. So somebody's going to smile. This is going to be actually a famous person that you actually like, you know. Um. So somebody is definitely going to be famous coming in. And somebody's going to feel bad. So I'm thinking maybe somebody's famous and married. Okay. Famous and in a relationship. Um. Famous and something else. There's something else going on with them because... In order to even look at that, to see the potential of what that can be, some of you guys are going to feel wrong. Like, I shouldn't be doing this. Could be an age thing. Um, but I'm really strongly feeling like that this is like a commitment thing. Um, 
Tell me more. Okay. Oh, wow. So for some of you guys, this is a person. This person's probably, it could, they could be famous, maybe not. Um, somebody gets exposed. So you were messing with somebody. Here comes the, now the queen of wands is here. And the sun. With the two of pentacles. <laughs> so somebody wanted to be with somebody because of their status and they knew they were doing wrong and they get caught they definitely get caught by messing with somebody they 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 end up being alone um tell me more about stabbed in the back again yeah somebody go through some type of um situation or this could be um Everybody wanted to be in your position. Everybody thought that you had a prize, whether this is a male or a woman. Um, somebody was a prize, like, oh my gosh, your relationship or y'all, da, da 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 But no, something gets exposed to somebody's juggling something. Um, tell me more about this was out of the blue. Okay, somebody comes out with something that they've been working on for a while, dedicated, working. Okay, some type of higher level, higher position. This is a big, this is really, really big energy with the hermit, the fool, and the hierophant here. Somebody is taking a leap of faith. Like, they worked on it in the dark. Now they trust, opened up, brought it to the universe. Now the hierophant is taking it and doing what it does with it. It's, it's, it's transforming it and making it. Somebody is also being more, um, more creative, more creative. Somebody has this transformation. Somebody has been working on themselves a lot. Okay. Somebody, this is like a total transformation that somebody's going to, it's either just going to hit somebody off guard or somebody's working on something and they're going to put it out and it's going to hit somebody off guard yeah you got the will of fortune was trying to find um was trying to come out there this is a total transformation okay somebody's pivoting in a in a whole new a whole new direction tell me more about a whole different outlook somebody has a whole different outlook of, of the burden some, some, somebody has a whole different outlook of all the work that they put in. Um, you got the emperor standing at the bottom of the deck. Now, I, I feel like the emperor is looking back like it's all worth it. Somebody's looking back like some type of strain, something that they had to do was all worth it. At the top of the deck, you do have the Knight of Pentacles. For some of you guys, um, this was a long, long time of struggle, hustle. It could be struggling and hustling. You got the queen of swords here. This is also signifying like your sword is still up. Like, so that's signifying that there's more, there's more for you to go because your sword is still up. Okay. But I feel like somebody has a whole different outlook of some type of burden or some type of pain that they've been through. Something was all worth it. Something ended up to be worth it in the end. Okay. Um, tell me more about damn. I really wish we could have. Somebody like, damn, I really wish we could have worked it out. Yeah, somebody's dropping this situation. Somebody has their back turned and they're like, I wish we would have could have worked it out. But someone's back is turned like their back is turned to me. Um, or somebody could be possibly in another relationship. Um... Somebody is also moving in a, in a new direction. I do feel like a meetup coming soon. Something, to, some, something togetherness, some type of togetherness coming soon. You got the temperance at play. So the temperance is making things that, like it's playing with your understanding. 
That's how I feel with the alchemy. I feel like the temperance takes things that don't necessarily, it's not supposed to work, but then again, it works. It's like, oh, okay, that's what it was. I feel like this temperance energy, it um, moves your perception. You're not seeing through your regular set of eyes that you use throughout your normal day. When you get into this temperance energy of um, alchemizing things, okay, and it's a whole different look. It's, it's, it's a whole different perception. It's you looking through a whole different set of eyes, okay? Um, somebody is somebody really wished that they could have, but somebody is choosing to fall back, okay? Tell me more about mad bitches going to stay mad. Um, I just heard somebody trying to ride your coattail. Somebody's upset because they can't ride your coattail. Somebody's trying to tag along with you. Somebody could have been trying to tag along with you. There could be some type of conflict happening here. Okay, there could be some type of fight. Um, this could possibly have something to do with, with money. Okay, tell me more about these mad bitches. Tell me more about mad bitches gonna stay mad. Something gets exposed. Yeah, something gets it it gets exposed, but somebody has to say about you. It gets exposed how somebody truly feels about you. This can has a this can have a lot to do with with some type of um hermit in a, um with some type with a Leo and a Virgo. It gets exposed with somebody um really really feels about you. How how a person really feels. Also a Gemini is is thrown in this mix and a Cancer as well. It gets exposed with somebody feels about you and um this could be knocking you off balance or you could be seeing that Somebody's energy is knocking you off balance. Either way, you go right into this hermit energy. Also, something sheds light on with it what you don't want, what you don't want anymore, what you were grieving, what, what you were trying to let go of. Something sheds light on that, and it could come through some type of conflict with somebody. Okay. <clears throat> Tell me more about the door is closed. The door is closed. Somebody is like, somebody is low vibe. Yeah, look, somebody is low vibe. Somebody has a low vibration and that's why they can't get in. That's why they can't get in. Somebody is protecting their peace. They're protecting their state of mind. Somebody is a low vibration. Um, and they can't, that's why the door is closed because they have low vibes around them. Look at this, like get back, get back. It's, it's people that's a, a low vibration. This could be a family or something like that. This could be the whole 10 of Pentacles that you're like, no. Um, somebody could also be putting on an act and somebody don't want to act. Like somebody is acting like the 10 of Pentacles, but they're not really that. Tell me more about... Um, me and you were locked in. Okay, somebody, a person who was confused. They actually now they know how they feel about you. And what's you've already seen what was in the dark because it's coming to light. Um, not because this is the, you know, that blah, the dark is the present, but this is what's coming out here. Somebody is going to be exposing how they feel and like a love, like love and in, in, in an intimate way. Okay. Okay. 
Also, this could have something to do with a new situation coming towards you. Like I said, right now, it's in the dark. Right now, it's hidden, but it will be exposed. Right now, it's still in, in like the making. Things are still cooking up, okay? Something is still in the process. Also, a person is still conflicted between which way to go, which way to choose, but somebody is definitely going to be making their choice. This could also have something to do with somebody... Um, trying to talk to you. Yeah, you got the page of pentacles behind this. Somebody's trying to, yeah, with the lover's card, somebody's trying to muster up the strength to talk to you. All these wands right here. Somebody's conflicted, like they're going crazy. I'm going crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> Tell me more about good conversation. Having a good conversation. Could be with a Scorpio. Somebody's transformed. I know somebody is, is hella mature now. Okay. Or you or somebody is mature. Somebody's older than you. Um, there is like a need. There's there, there's a push and pull factor. Like somebody feels like, you know, they don't know how another person feels about them. Um, they're very, very smitten by a person. Um, they it's a lot of passion that this person has, okay? Um got the knight of cups yeah it's a lot of passion that this person has um this person is really really happy and could be in love or they just they think about you all the time um yeah tell me more about i'm still not over you Yeah, this is this Queen of Pentacles. Somebody's still thinking about still um nurturing the situation. Because somebody realized that they truly love a person, and this could be you. And for some of you guys, there's some feelings that come out of the blue. There's some feelings that come up out of the blue here. This could have a lot to do with running into somebody, okay? Um, but there's a long-lasting love that's coming, or there's some type of conflict that could bring somebody in, or some type of drama, but somebody is still nurturing a situation. Somebody have, has not given up. Somebody is... Um, but also, I feel like that they're not really, like, worrying. But somebody is also being patient. Very, very patient. Tell me more about Spirit Guides Got It Covered Behind the Scenes. Phone call. <laughs> Queen of Swords, your energy here. What's here? Something you've been waiting for. It's the phone call you've been waiting for. Oh, wow. With the 10 here. With the 10. With the 10, oh, wow. There's a lot of passion here. There's so much passion. There's a lot of pent-up energy, okay? There's still a lot of passion here, but definitely spirit guides have it covered with this call. There's a new beginning. Somebody's definitely going to be calling or you're going to be meeting somebody. It's an unexpected visit, unexpected. I also see new love, so... You can go ahead and twist this around however you want it to go. I also see new love. Um, but somebody definitely has realized that their abandonment issues has a lot to do with their relationships. So from this point for forward, you guys should be experiencing relationships totally different. If that's your energy of like looking yourself in the face. Also, for some of you guys, it's the person you've been dealing with. But I do feel like if it's the person, it's you too, right? Um... It's a reason why you're attracting or a reason why you're staying or accommodating um, certain things, right? All right, let's get these black cards out the way. And these white cards. Somebody is really not somebody's people at all. At all. Like, these are not your friends. Um, it's been a lot of fake energy this week. Like, the hell? 
Maybe that's a part of Pisces season is also is, is getting you to realize where you stand. After this, it ain't going to be no excuses, I'm telling y'all. Y'all can act like y'all don't know. You can act like, you know, you're still confused. Act like it ain't what it is, but Pisces season is going to show you, okay? Tell me more about Chill Out. Chill out. Somebody taking too much. Somebody's being greedy. It's like chill out. Chill. It's a lot for everybody. Somebody is stingy as hell. Somebody's taking and taking and taking. With the six of the with the six um of pinnacles here and then the four of pinnacles, somebody's being greedy. Like that's so crazy. Like we have this. Oh, I ain't even gonna get into it, but that's just like if you have a person, it's like, let, let's say, um, somebody has a, an overabundance of, of berries and every day this person comes and they bring berries to this place. Every single day they bring lots of berries for everybody to get. But you have this one person that no matter what, when they see berries, they take all of the berries like it's not going to be any left, Right. But every single day, the berries are getting refilled. There's enough berries. But this person is coming there, taking and stealing and looking like, like they have to steal the berries. Now, this could be some type of law of attraction thing. Because somebody is, is making it seem like it's, it's not enough. So somebody is still living in lack. You got the uh, Six of Pentacles, which is the giving and receiving card. The giving and receiving. The Four of Pentacles is more so like taking, holding. It's no type of giving out. It's taking, it's holding. It's not even really even receiving. It's just staying still, staying in that place of holding on to what I got because I, I don't know how long I'm going to have it. So for some of you guys, and then if you look even deeper into this, the Six of Pentacles plus the Four of Pentacles is the Ten of Pentacles, which is the abundance of wealth, which is wealth coming out. It's always coming out. Just because something's not coming to you in Tens does not mean that it's not the Ten of Pentacles. And for some of you guys, you're looking at the way something is coming to you, okay? You may be getting the same amount, but it's broken up monthly or it's broken up weekly. But you're looking at this large lump sum and you're, you're, you're also putting your success in a number that you have to get. And since you're not making that type of number, um, that big old number, it could be broken up. For some of you guys, I feel like it's broken up. It could be broken up. Now, this way to be in, this is how millionaires go broke. This is how people who, you know, win the lottery and then another thing with that, you know, when you don't work for something, you don't really appreciate it, but that's a whole nother thing. But still living like you don't have when you have. Still living like I have to take. I don't know when the next thing is going to come. When you have an abundance of overflow coming in your life. That surely and most definitely will take you right back to broke. So definitely chill. Chill out. Also, I do feel like somebody could be somebody could be petty or somebody could be taking too much. But in a deeper way, in, 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 a, in a deeper thing, I feel like um, for some of you guys, you could still be living in lack. You got the hermit card. I feel like for some of you guys, because you're alone, you may be still living in lack because you're alone, because because there's some type of solitude that you're. Yeah, because you're alone. And you have all these people or, 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 or all these opportunities coming to you. And you're still going about it like you, you don't have it. And for some of you guys, it's really, really sad because you don't see it. And can't nobody. I remember my brother told me this when he was like 12. We were talking about confidence. He was like, if, if you don't believe it, it's, I can tell you a million times. But if that person does not believe it, then... You might as well save your breath because you have to believe it. That's the only way you're going to hear it. For So for some of you guys, you don't see it because you don't believe it. Okay? Um, there's a need for you to open up your heart. Tell me more about free. Somebody is playing. Somebody is free. Somebody got free time to play. Um... Yeah, somebody has free time. Somebody's free now. 
Somebody could be free from some type of job or free from some type of work. Somebody could definitely be quitting their job or resigning from their job. They're happy. It's like cheers, cheers to me. Let's put a toast up in the air. Cheers to me. Yeah, cheers. Somebody's toasting some newfound money. Somebody's toasting something. Somebody has the ability. This is, It could be a major phone call coming in, a phone call that changes your life, or somebody wants to work with you due to you putting your passions and your creations out. You got the three of uh, pinnacles at the bottom of the deck, so you're, you're happy at work, really, really happy at work. You do get exposed, yeah. So if some of you guys keep on working. Keep on working. You're buying some free time, free to celebrate, free to have fun, free to enjoy yourself. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Tell me more about I am money. Been a lot of attracting money lately. Hey, Divine Masculine. So Divine Masculine is feeling like they are money. Divine Masculine has had a mental transition. Or for some of you guys, this is your Divine Masculine energy that's had a mental transition and you're transitioning your mind. So you're letting the law of attraction work for you. For some of you guys, you're, you're mimicking your favorite billionaires. You're mimicking your favorite billionaires, okay? You're going to different places. Like, this is a whole different... Like, things has totally changed. For some of you guys, things have totally changed. You have attracted this money. You are in that emperor status. Your business has done good. You have made that money that you wanted to make, okay? Um... But things are totally changed here. Things are totally changed. It's a new beginning. A lot of things are happening. Great things are happening. This could be love. A lot of things is coming from your hard work and dedication here. Even I can just keep on going. Stability. Somebody could be buying a house or something like that. Tell me more about get out of the house and go have fun. Get out the house and go have fun. Somebody's working too much. King of Pentacles. Somebody's working too much and somebody's scared of having fun. You know, the King of Pentacles is that um, mama's boy do, does the right thing all the time type of person. So um, get out the house and go have some fun. Like somebody is all work, no play. Like work, 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 work. I got to work. I can't stop. I can't do this. I can't give up. I have to keep going even when I feel. But that thing is going to lead you to destruction somebody is on the verge of burnout somebody is definitely on the verge of burnout if they don't go out and have some fun so if that's you it's almost the weekend you need to be making some plans okay doing something at least spending an hour with yourself okay um yeah at least spending an hour with yourself tell me more about there's something you didn't see there's something. <laughs> the death card. I just got the chills. <laughs> I just got the chills. There's something you didn't see. Your trans your transformation, my love. Butterfly game. For some of you guys, you don't you you don't even know that you're flying around. You're not cra you're not crawling no more. For some of you guys, you don't even know. You did not see your transformation. For some of you guys, you did not see your major your major um you you tearing down major obstacles, you creating major endings in your life and starting major new beginnings in your life. For some of you guys, that is what you don't you don't you you're forgetting to see you. You see everybody else, but you're not seeing you. You're not seeing your transformation. You're not seeing how much you have grown. You're not seeing your fire, your own fire inside of you. Your own strength. For some of you guys, you don't even know that you've left some type of self-sabotaging mindset behind you. You don't even know that you've left that behind you. That you've healed it. For some of you guys, the way... How you um, deal with your emotions are so much better now. 
okay it's so much better now you're able to go back in the past and you're doing shadow work and you're going back to deep emotions but you're not staying stuck there and you're not living in residence you're not you're not making a residence out of your um your dark emotions and and and, and your and your um not so good feelings right and also you're making these boundaries in your life okay you're respecting yourself you're treating yourself better you're not even noticing it i was just we talked about this success is not going to some type of um red ribbon that says success and cross me no success is falling in love with the process and then waking up realizing oh shit, i'm here that's success that's what it feels like okay it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be like oh shit. I'm really here now. Tell me more about positivity. Well, at least to me, at least. King of Swords, you got Aquarius energy all over this? Aquarius energy is all over this? Um, somebody is thinking positive. Somebody is trying their damn hardest to think positive got a lot of kings here so somebody could definitely be um very very much into you and a lot of queens so definitely somebody's getting a lot of a lot of um yeah uh, this aquarius libra this aquarius wants you this aquarius coming to you coming to his queen his queen the Queen of Swords, so this person may have Aquarius in their chart. You got uh, Aquarius at the bottom of the deck, the star card, with this temperance energy, with the sun, and then with the three of pentacles energy. You got all of this good positive energy coming back. Somebody needs to stay positive. Um, somebody, this Aquarius, this Aquarius is, is remaining positive. Somebody is coming, like literally, if I were to put these up, literally, it is the king of swords telling the queen of swords how he feels. But remember, queen of swords, you have to, how are you going to react? Because remember, his sword is down. His defenses are down. You still on guard. <laughs> you still on guard. Like... <laughs> Now I'ma just I'ma keep I'ma I'ma keep I'ma hold this right here. You know when somebody say take a seat and it's like no I I'll rather stand. That's what it is. Get out get out your queen of swords energy. This person just want to love on you. Okay. Tell me more about not my peeps. Tell me more about not my peeps. Oh, this was a long one. Yeah, somebody's not. These this coworker energy. Okay, <laughs> these people around like these working these jobs. What? Who are they hiring? These people are not your people. They're not your people. And somebody is still trying to like keep a helping hand out and be nice and you know, they're not your people. It's a lot of things hidden behind the surface. Okay. Um, justice, I feel like you're going to, clarity is definitely going to come to you and you're going to be able to see things different, differently and then, you know, make the mind, make the, the necessary adjustments. There may be one person at work that you stop talking to, like you cut off all communication. It's strictly good morning. Have a good, you have a good evening. It's strictly greetings. <laughs> That's it. That's what's, that, it's like somebody is, you're going to totally cut somebody off, okay? Um, tell me more about not your bros. Somebody's confused, confused whether this person, whether these are your, oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, okay. Somebody didn't got something. And they're confused who to bring along. That's why this discernment is, that's why when you have destiny on you, you know, I know you heard the saying, like you will sit in a room and nobody know, will know who you are, right? 
And the reason why nobody knows who you are for a certain amount of time is so you can know who everyone else is in the room because you have some type of destiny or dominion over you. And you're going to be in a position where people, a lot of people are going to be flocking to you. A lot of people are going to be flocking to you and you need to know who's who. So for some of you guys, you've been in a situation where ain't nobody, you you weren't nobody special, wasn't nobody calling your name, wasn't nobody, you know, standing in lines trying to get to see you. And that was, and in those times, you've seen people's true colors. But now, all of a sudden, now that you have these, you have these newfound riches or newfound value, newfound energy, whatever it is. Okay, you got the Ace of Pentacles, the Empress, and the Ten of Pentacles. The Empress is all about manifesting and actually bringing things into fruition, actually. Birthing. It's the process of pushing something out. So once the empress comes in, it's almost like a confirmation that that thing that you were trying to manifest is on its way out. So for some of you guys, this is lots of money. And now that you're in some type of spotlight or now that you're in a position where every all eyes are on you, okay, in this energy, lots of people are flocking. Now you're confused about what's real What's genuine and what's not? Remember what you've seen. Remember the chariot is very fair. <laughs> okay. The chariot is very, very fair, very balanced. Okay. Very fair, very balanced. Somebody, you're going to be closing the door off to somebody. And also, I feel like there's a relationship that's also going to be deepening, okay? Tell me more about petty. What is this petty energy for Libra? Petty friends, I tell you, these fake friends, listen, these fake friends, what they doing? Is there an Aquarius and a Pisces talking, conspiring together? But I do feel like two people are coming together and spreading a lot of rumors about you and your household and your relationship. Somebody could be spreading rumors about you and your relationship, okay? And here you are at the bottom of the deck. Somebody, what they don't know is that somebody is going to tell you. Tell me more. Yeah. What I say, petty energy about your relationship. Somebody was being petty in your relationship. Yeah, somebody was spreading gossip. Somebody was gossiping. Who you been telling? Some, whoever you've been talking to about the details of your relationship has been gossiping. That's why you don't tell people nothing. Don't tell the whole hood your problems now. Or well, don't tell a company your problems. Tell me more about snapping pictures, last but not least, for Libra. This really had to fall all the way down. Okay. Somebody snapping pictures. Wow. Somebody's trying to get you on camera. Some type of low moments. Or what someone, what someone perceives as a low moment, as an embarrassing moment. Um, to keep you trapped. Okay, this is betrayal. Yeah, this is betrayal. This could have something to do with petty energy. If you did something out with your girlfriends, you know, or, or your guy friends and you just, whatever. Somebody has pictures of what you did. Or if they already had pictures, y'all did it together and, you know, it's a picture out there or it's a video out there. It's something that somebody has at a low moment. Justice will work out in your favor, but this is messed up, though. This is messed up. It's going to cause a big R. Of course. Of course it is. It's going to cause a big argument and it get exposed. Yeah. What you didn't see was that there was an enemy being patient with you trying to get some some right information 
befriending you to try to get all this information, whatever it is from you. Somebody was befriending you. And we talked about chatty patty. Somebody was chatting. We said stop chatting, right? And all this chatter, be careful who you talk to or just stop talking if you don't know. If you don't know who it is, then just sh shut up, okay? Um, but somebody has been waiting. Somebody was patient with you. Somebody could have could, could have could have crafted the whole thing. Could have planted the whole thing. Somebody planted. Mm, what y'all got going on? Tell me more about snapping pictures. Yeah, somebody planted the whole thing. Mm-hmm. For some of you guys, it's 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 going to be illusion. Somebody's trying to. Somebody could be trying to break you up. Somebody could be trying to break your relationship up. Mm. Somebody is not your friends. They're not your friends. They are not your friends. Okay. Um. So that is the message that I have for you guys today. I hope this reading resonated with you. I know it was a long one. If it did, make sure you give this reading a big thumbs up and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video.